All right, guys, we are back from our comic book extravaganza weekend vacation to Leavenworth, Washington, and we got some good stuff in store for you. We were able to hit up two shops, so we went to a, uh, antique. a antique store, which has some fo video oh. Oh, footage from that, and we have some video from the Krampus Cave, and stay tuned. We also, because it's Monday, we have a mystery box, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back, gainers, to another crazy, exciting, fantastic episode of... Comic game. Ha! And if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Royal Highness doing that princess wave as usual, looking very beautiful as usual. There's Coco. She misses us, yeah. so bow down, and we missed you. Yeah, guys, like we said, today That's is nice. Monday, and we got a mystery box action for you, like we know how to do it, and uh, so a big comic haul. So we kind of gave you guys a little bit of a preview in our last video that we were heading off to Leavenworth, Washington, and uh, we'll have some photos and whatnot for you, but... We were able to hit up two shops on the way on the way there, one in Leavenworth and then one antique store that had some pretty good finds. And uh, yeah, we kind of want to share some some hauls with you guys. And um, like we said, you know, that one shop in, in Leavenworth, they tend to go a little untouched. It wasn't quite as untouched as I would have hoped it would have been, but they still had some good stuff that you can't just like walk into your regular LCS, I think, and find anymore. Unless you guys live, you know, you, you guys might be, wherever you guys live, yeah. in the, maybe you live in the middle of nowhere. Where you live by an untouched LCS. Right, We right. do not. Or maybe we'll let you know about this one. Now it's not so much untouched. Yeah. Do you know what usually doesn't remain untouched, though? Oh. It's when a, it's in the vicinity of Zach? Oh, uh, it's a beer. It's delicious. Oh, that one looks I'm cool. guessing. You're a good listener. Oatmeal Stout. And it has a little cartoon and everything. It's like <laughs> the raccoons are interviewing, like... A platypus? Is it a platypus? Not, not it is a platypus. Not interviewing, but oh, like uh, a counseling. A psychiatry? No, it's like, how does it feel to be kind of like a duck and kind of like a beaver? Like, pretty rough. Pretty rough. It's God's dude, mistake. Dude. <laughs> it's like the closest thing we have to a Pokemon. It's yeah, amazing. It's They're amazing. trying to catch one. Yeah, they're mean. Yeah, they are mean. <laughs> That's how I... No, no. Drink that beer. Drink that... Oh. 6%? Isn't that good? Yeah, it tastes like it went bad. You know what's awesome though is you guys are good listeners. Oh, it says recycle me, fool. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So let's get it. So first up, um, we went to this first antique store, and it was in Wenatchee. So we had to go a little bit past Wenatchee, Washington. Uh, like the, if you guys know, our state is known for apples, and that's where they grow a, a good vast majority of apples. Well, they do have a few antique stores and some comic book shops. We did visit one comic book store, but there was nothing good there. But the antique store had some good stuff. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's get right into some goodies that we found. So uh, there's a couple of books Zach found together. So maybe you can explain those there, Zach. So this is a book that's very interesting. It's a Young Avengers. It's a, actually two covers, one on the back side. Uh, oh, yeah, there's also Alias one. The one on the back side shows King the Conqueror. And I think it's a reprint issue six. And... Uh, on the other side, actually in, the, in it, but we don't need to take it out. <laughs> and then I love Ash Cats. The Young Avenger one is going to be worth a lot of money later on because people are going to be like, okay, I need also need to get this other thing. It's like a weird reprint too, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a flip yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. And then the Ash Can is, I love Ash Cans. I collect Ash Cans, and the cover is amazing. I think I had it for free. It's oh, weird. Free. I was like, Zach's like, this is going to be really easy. A lot of my stuff's for free. I'm like, who gives stuff away for free? Nice people. I don't know. People that so. pray cool, to the Jesus. All right. And what do we got here, Zach? Oh, this is a Superman number 149. It's a newsstand. And as you oh, know, cool. I news, didn't know that. Yeah, newsstands for this era are getting kind of harder to find. And it's the first appearance of this lady. Well, kind of a first appearance. She takes on the mantle of the something entity. So, so the blue lightning Superman? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I don't know. I, I'm not really speculating. I just thought it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you find some good finds. And we got a Mass Effect number one, got for $5. It's about a $15 book. I hear something about like a movie or TV show is coming for it, so I'm like, why kind of not? looks like Groot, doesn't he? I am female the, Groot. Is it? Or is it a girl? Yeah. Oh, a, you know, I don't know anything about Mass Effect. <laughs> Dark Horse. Not quite effective enough, apparently. Because yeah, yeah. you don't know about it. I know, right? Oh, and then here's, what do you got here, Zach? This is cool. So this is Back to, back to the Future, back to the future. promo. It says not for resale, so these things should be fairly rare. Uh, I only saw two on eBay, and uh, the prices were all over the place. 
I mean, all for places like one's for like ninety dollars, other ones like starting bid five dollars, but with six days. That is all over the place. Yeah, but yeah, you never know. You find an antique store, and that's a great movie, Back mm. to the Future. Yeah, all three is. of them actually were good. That is. That's rare. Yeah, that's rare. For that one. The trilogy. All right, and what do you got? Some of these weren't bagged and boarded too. So what do you got here, Zach? Yeah, I got Dread Star number one. It's a, I think it's a Jim Starling story. It is. And that's a cool cover. I I don't know much spec about this, but I know it's worth more than what I paid for it. So. That's pretty cool. That cover's yeah, cool. Yeah, that cover's cool, too. I saw it. I was like, what the heck is that? It's cool. If you guys know anything about cool. any of these, we'll feel free to leave comments down below. Where we, have to, we have to go through. We just got back, and we got a, we hadn't got a chance to look in these up, so we'll see if Zach will get a little bit of uh, a dollar amount. So these are some stuff I think I found. What do we got there, Zach? It's a X-Men 11 um, newsstand. It yeah. wasn't in bad shape, either. And I believe it's a McFarlane, or no, is it... No, classic Jim Lee cover. Jim Lee, yeah. sorry. I see it really was not there. worth anything for a while until all of a sudden art, artist stuff from the 90s started going up in price. Yeah, so it's really no significance other than it's like a really classic Jim Lee cover. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that cover. Good find, Adam. Yeah, this is really cool. I saw this one. It's actually not worth that much, but it's a really cool cover. So it's Deadpool, Merc with the Mouth. Um, it's the homage to... Um, Savage Tales, right? Savage Tales, yeah. First appearance of Man-Thing. Uh, Man-Thing, yes. Yeah. Man-Thing. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, it homages a Frank Frazetta cover. Yeah, too. I think you're correct, yeah. But it's really cool. I just thought it like a really cool-looking cover there. I'd, have, I'm, yeah. I'd be happy with both of those books, yeah. you know? And um, <laughs> this has not a lot of value, but I'm kind of collecting that older, um, you know, like Marvel Spot Marvel Spotlight, Marvel Premiere, Marvel Superheroes run. So this is Marvel Premiere, Man Wolf number forty six. Just a cool. I just think it's a cool cover. You got Man Wolf on the cover there, kind of like a girl in bondage. She's being held at the at the throat with a knife. I love that. You know that Bronze Age cool stuff there. I, I think uh, Adam's on to something. The high grade or pretty mid grade keys, or not keys, maybe not even keys, not but even like key, but the Marvel cool. premieres and anything that kind of falls in like important, like kind of time period. Because look at all the X Men books. All the X Men books in the early runs are worth a lot of money now, even if they're not keys. So it's yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah, and a lot of those are usually like second or third appearances of the character a lot of times, too. You know, you don't because yeah. it's that weird kind of showcase. I'm we, already started. He's already yeah. started. We do have some. Uh, I think oh, this is a princess yeah, book. That's princess a found uh, Gamora swimsuit special from Beautiful. from Image Comics. Um, Zach was saying she's part of uh, what? Which group? Gen thirteen. Gen thirteen. Oh yeah, Gen thirteen. But yeah. Jay Scott Campbell cover. Sure. I think Zach was a little jealous when Princess found that. I was a little je jealous. Uh, I saw this other one that I thought maybe I'd like, but it was about worth what you could get out of it. So yeah. Like, ah, a pass. This is a um, pretty cool one. I found this one uh, at the same at the um, antique store. There you got Masters of the Universe number one. Uh, I think it's He-Man's first solo story in a newsstand, and uh, pretty decent grade. I'd say it's at least a VF. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess when they first started opening up, this was right first started opening up. I didn't first... get to hear him say, but yeah, something like one of the first comics they ever put in there, and no one ever bought. It. <laughs> and big mistake. Yeah, but uh, got it for a decent price. Um, Princess was on a roll here, getting some more. So you got Uncanny X Men four sixty seven. I know Zach and Princess know about this book. I I only really know it's a great cover. I think it does have one first appearance in it though. I I'm I think it says on the cover. I can't. I'm gonna butcher this name, but I believe it's like a Chris Bachelo Bachelo uh, cover, something like that. Bob Bacula. It's that one. The oh, one. okay. It's a Claremont story. Ooh, a Claremont story. Yeah, but really classic uh, Psylocke cover. Really beautiful cover, actually. Oh. It should have been on our list if it wasn't. But first, first Shi'ar Death Commander. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, the antique people knew more than we did. Smart. But cool book, good find, Princess. Um, I was able to pick this one up. Super pumped about this. Um, we got this is an underrated book too. I think it's kind of on close to value what it, I got it for. But you got uh, Warlock number fifteen. I think they're all, now they might not all be newsstands at this time, but newsstand and first cover appearance of Gamora. So I think super underrated book. It's it's medium grade, medium grade, but a fantastic book. It's the same thing. It's in that kind of run where it's starting to get real popular, everything else is going to go up in price, and it's a key. So mm -hmm. that's even better. Yeah. yeah. Pick that book up while you can. It's hard to say with Gamora, because I don't know if like Zoe Saldana is going to keep going after the third movie. So, you know, they say she's supposed to spotlight in this new movie, but I don't know You know how that's going to work out. I'd still, I'd still pick it up. Definitely. So. For, for sure. So, so um... Got a couple more books here from the antique store. I, we did find. I, Princess told me this wasn't nearly as expensive as I thought it was. But Marvel presents number one. You got uh, Bloodstone, uh, which is first appearance of Ulysses Bloodstone, the father of 
Oh, Elsa and Lyra yeah. Bloodstone. Mm-hmm. And a couple other Bloodstones that we didn't know about until recently. I think it got hot and then it kind of went back down, but I don't have a copy, so I wanted to get one from a personal collection. And I was able to find some uh, 90s Moon Knight goodness. I'll show all these together, make it a little easier, but the last one was a good one. The, la- the one of them was a good one, so... Kind of all just really cool, you know, Mark Spector, Moon Knight, goodness there. And I think the last one in there is right there, which is, I think, uh, the first Prince of Randall Spector. Is that upside down? No. I feel like I got it. It should be, uh, I think, Moon Knight's brother. So, a possibility (laughs) character going to be in there. So, you guys know I'm collecting Moon Knight, so I got a little Moon Knight action. I think I might have some of those 90 books already, but you can't have too much Moon Knight, right? No, you can't. So... Great pickups for the first one. So uh, we trucked right along. You know, we're driving, th- we're driving through. Actually, we had to drive back from Wenatchee's Pass for Red. So then mm-hmm. we drove back to Leavenworth, and we hit up the Krampus Cave, our honey hole of comics that we go to once a year. We tell them too many of you guys. You guys are all go there, too. But you can show up. There's, a, there's all these games. There's enough games to go around for everybody. But uh, we spent, uh, what were we there for, guys? Like a couple hours. So we got some good footage here. This is kind of what it looks like inside the shop. So you can kind of see all the goodness there. Really, really fantastic. They got all kinds of cool stuff. Magic cards, some Pokemon cards, but comics galore. And they have a nice, I like when stores have a nice back section too, where you can like click through other back stuff. So what did we find? Some new stuff, a little bit of, not older, older stuff, but not quite current. But right off the bat, we've got two copies of Death of Doctor Strange, Bloodstone. Yeah, we're going to consider sending this in to get signed by uh David Nakayama. Mm, that's possible. Considering. That's possible. I think it's going to be expensive. But maybe. But they're really good there. Uh, got three books from the Star Wars High Republic new run that um, were all ended up being keys recently. I know, I think number 10 is first appearance of Lorna D, who she's a really important character with uh, the Nil. Really cool. Look. She's okay. like a Twi'lek with uh, like big, like uh, sharp teeth. You know, like oh. the, the big long, like a. Uh, Hair thing. Oh, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking cool about. Cool characters, but those are cool. And then what you got there, Zach? Oh, I got this dope a Red Sonia number. I don't know what number it is. It's uh, but Ten? it's J. Scott Campbell. Yeah, it's almost like a sketch, like a sketch with a little bit of red action going on. In there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want to spec on covers uh, done by J. Scott Campbell unless it's a key, but that's pretty slick. I, I think uh, we're, we'll do pretty good on that one. Yeah, and then going on with the Red Sonia thing, we got. Which one's that? Like, I didn't, yeah, I, that one. I, uh, number 23. I just love it because I was all about the mead this weekend. Oh, we still got some mead. That's awesome. But anyways, I love the sign. It's like, we'll slay for mead. Oh, I didn't even see it said that. That's why I got it. Oh, it just, that is cool. I know, that is cool. I, was, I look at the cover art. I'm like, ah, I like it. But I went back. I went, you started digging. I was like, wait, did that see what I thought it said? We'll slay. Okay, and then uh, Zach found some zombie tramps. But there's both of these. I got two zombie tramps there. That one's she's got some kind of on her mouth. So, <laughs> so these ones are probably kind of close to. I think they still print out zombie Trump, but I think yeah, they have, I've, we have had some on my poll list a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think they're all pretty small print runs, and I think those they're kind of ghosts. I only seen like one or two. I think they're probably worth about twenty bucks a piece, if not more. Nice, nice. I never think to look out for some big zombie tramps. I know Princess has some of the more expensive ones. Yeah, uh, next jealous. up, Princess found a. Star Wars Dr. Aphra 15. I should know what this is, but I don't. Princess knows. Well, you guys know. But remember, we'll say it right here. Yeah. But cool book. Princess is all about the Star Wars and even more on the Dr. Aphra. If you go into a comic book store there, she just shoots right off to the Star Wars starts digging. She got those keys down pat. All right. Next up, uh, this is some stuff we found based on our list. And remember, we didn't have this one, but we did find... Thor number 21, which is, uh, I think, the origin of the God of Hammers. Possibly first real appearance, depending on which way you guys want to swing the bat. But Zach loved that cover, if you guys remember. Oh, yeah, I loved (laughs) it. (laughs) But we didn't have that one before, and uh, we found it. So we picked up uh, got House of Slaughter number one. This is the one per store variant. (laughs) Pretty decent book. Um, They were selling cover price, man. Mm -hmm. So they just throw that stuff right on the rack. They don't even care at that place. So. Most any other store you go to, you're going to buy that for 30 at least. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. Always nice to happen. So uh, this is a current um, trending book. You got Avengers Forever number three. Decided to pick up another one of these. Uh, it already moved up in price. So first appearance of a lady. The female. Female Moon Knight from that universe. Oh, yeah. That's mm-hmm. a lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And Zach picked up another strange number one. First. Um, uh, first. Um, Clea. Yeah. 
Clea as, as Sorcerer, Sorcerer Supreme. Supreme. So, well, like I said, I don't like the cover that much, but you know, it's it's not it's not a bad book. We can get it for cover chance. price to go down on it. Uh, got picked up two of these. Um, so we did get the Hulk number three um, first cameo of Titan. We got two more of those. Like I said, we got them for cover price, so it's kind of like. I feel like any other LCS you're going into, you're not going to find that just sitting on the shelf still. Shouldn't anyways, unless you got a really cool LCS. Um, this was kind of a random one. I just thought we'd pick this up. Uh, Champions number six. There's about six first appearances in it. So it's part of that killer app one. I read actually like part three for some reason. I didn't read part one. So I know how it, the killer app ends. I don't know how it begins. but Nice spec. Yeah. And uh, I was able to get that Batman killing time. So I'm going to read... A Batman story, guys. So I'm going to start reading this. I have not read a full series of Batman. I'm going to do this one. It's killing time. Mm -hmm. And it's killing time. It's so. the last time that you're going to live. So take your chance. And Princess found some books. She got Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number 33. And there's a dude on the cover. I don't even... <laughs> it's got like a it's handlebar so mustache. Weird. It's so weird. Is this desk messy too? Oh, and he's got his toys on there. Oh, he got his toys. Toys. Oh, toys. I love toys. And uh, Princess Found, Something's Killing the Children, number 12. Two copies, and then she was letting me know that's like a $15, $20 book now. Oh, so really? Found it right on the shelf, right? Still cover price. So got some of that goodness. And then uh, last but not least, uh, we were able to find, this is crazy we found this. I have no idea why, but uh, Black Adam, Endless Winter, Special, the Boss Logic cover, number nice. one. Cover price right on the shelf. Cool yeah, we'll continue to go up up until the movie comes out. Yeah, so yeah, great find, great hauls, and uh, really helped us last you know last week doing not last week but last Wednesday doing that video for the top books of twenty twenty two. Kind of knew what to look for. We're hoping to find that Black Panther three or the Timeless, but they were not there. They were they were not there. Someone we else tried. knew. We tried. Someone knew, but very fun trip. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed that. But like we said. Princess wanted to do a mystery box, and our good friends over Cosmic Comics were happy enough to hook us up. Uh, so Princess picked up, they have, I think this is the biggest one I've ever seen from them, $120 shipped. So Hector, thank you over there at Cosmic Comics. We're going to do it again. We're going to open one more of your guys' mystery box. Not Probably not the last, but one more. So Princess picked this one up. Uh, yeah, Cosmic Comics, $120 mystery box. Good price point. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I think the first one we got from them was 40 and then we did a... 50 or seven, seventy-five dollar, I think, is last one. So nice, getting it's moving up a little bit, moving up. But one hundred twenty yeah. is not, not too bad. We can stay nice with that. It can be interesting uh, to different types of boxes that you could possibly get. We like the ones that kind of like almost all of them are hits, per se. But well, it's every, always I think everybody up. likes that. I, I like mean, a few of my books not to be hits. I mean, but yeah. there's the other <laughs> aspect of. Hey, there's this one great book that might not be in your box. It might be in someone else's box. So. Yeah, sometimes. But there's there's pluses and negatives. Both. And I believe there's a happy there's a birthday present for Princess in here. So never yeah, that works out good. So happy birthday, Princess, on the house, not related to the value in the mystery box, separate. So I think he's got that separated here. Let's make sure we get that out of the way, guys, so you don't get no conf. Ooh, he knows you pretty well. What's that little, is it the support? It might be a, I don't know, it's a card. Oh, no new box to it. Oh, no, he's not having a new box till June. So oh. keep that in mind, guys. Make sure uh, everyone follow Cosmic Comics on Instagram because so far we've done two boxes from them and they have both been awesome. So you want to make sure you get on the next list for the next mystery box. So we'll start here. Birthday present first, so there's no confusion. Ooh, there we go. You got... Spider-Man okay. and X-Men number one, Scotty Young variant. You guys know she collects with Scotty Young. And I can tell you, she does not have that one. She does not have that. So, awesome, Hector. This one's going to be exciting for her. And? Oh, wow. Yeah, Black Widow one. number one. And this is the hip-hop variant by Phil Noto. And I don't know the homage to that one. Princess probably does. I think it's Notorious B.I.G. Missy? Oh, Missy, oh, Missy. I was Elliot? totally wrong. I was I oh, cool book though. Do you guys know she collects those? And that's her favorite books of all time are hip hop books. So thank you, Hector. Mm -hmm. I like a scholar and a gentleman. All right, let's get to some mystery action. There's some. There's a little bit of mystery going on here. So we got a nice setup here, and it says start here. We have the. This is interesting to do this, but it's cool. But uh, fourth best box. So you get to kind of know right off the bat. I want to see what that number one looks like. All right, so we're gonna start here. 
Ooh, dude, this is, oh, cool. So you got extra, uh, the unknown soldier. Is this the guy from Doom Patrol? No. It's not? Oh, no, different. I should be a different dude. They're both in D. There's two guys in DC with bandages on their faces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In fact, I think there's another one. The Unknown we Soldier. We don't talk about that guy, though. Yeah. Cool book, though. Cool. Good way to start it out. Good way to start it out. Some DC love. He's like a spy, I think. With a burnt up face? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Yeah, that's a thing, though. Okay, next up. Oh, oh, I like this book. So you got Incredible Hulk. Um, this, that's a key. this is a reprint, right? That's a key. No, that's number three. Remember the three that we got? That's a, like a 150 or a, it says it right there. Remember the three that we got? The cameo of Titan? Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah. Oh, Hulk I, three. I think that's a ratio. It might be. Guess who did the cover? David Nakia? No, no. It, I it is. Oh, it is? I was <laughs> yeah. just joking. Yeah. Oh, cool book. You're right. Okay. I was thinking it was the face simile, but. Yeah, it's. I think that you are correct, sir. I think it's a ratio, I think one in 25. You think so? It's, it might be. There's only two. There's it's only a good two book, though. It's a very good key book. Collector. That's a good book. I remember looking at that. I'd be happy getting that in my mystery box. Oh, and I got one. Next up. Ooh, okay. So this is one of the Stormbreaker variants. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry. I can't remember what book this is. I've seen this before. But you got Falcon in the new Captain America outfit. I'm excited for the new movie coming out. Captain America 4. 4. But cool book. I know those like uh, the Stormbreaker variants were interesting because when they first came out, they're all one per stores, and then they started pumping them out normal. But they're kind of showcasing their new artists over at Marvel, giving them a little shot. Okay, next up. Ooh, okay. Gwenpool versus Carnage, number one. And it's a King in Black tie-in. Very cool, very cool. It's a key. Mm -hmm. It's a key. Not a, I don't think it's a major key, but it's, it's nice. It's a good one. Something about Mary Jane and Carnage, I think. That might be. I think. Yeah. First time they share the, the ooh, you get these. First good time they share got the these good ratios. Soup. So you got X Men number one, the variant. This is the one in seventy five. Uh, this is Whoa. a forty dollar key. That's pretty. Uh, that's it's pretty Paco good. Medina. That's pretty. That pretty is really good. nice, actually. Oh wait. Whoa, is that she got fangs? Oh, this is the vampire one. Yeah, yeah, they they turned vampire for a little while. Well, I know they're doing no. X, that's DC versus vampire. X, X Force. Uh, they started that in X Force where they're all vampires, and then Wolverine, Cy no, not Cyclops, Wolverine, X twenty three, and somebody else. All oh. grew, all grew fangs. All the people that already had fangs. Yeah, <laughs> they grew bigger fangs. I'm trying to think of who else was. Well, oh, Domino. Okay. Domino. That makes there. sense. Oh, oh. Dude, this is really cool, actually. So this Ooh. is uh, Iron Fist number one, but this is the one in 50, the Spider-Man homage. Jeez. This is a very, very good book to spec on. So this is the first time uh, Swordmaster takes on the mantle of Iron Fist. And it's an homage to... Um, oh, it's a... Is that Spider-Man 50? X-Men 50. No, yeah. Spider-Man. Oh, no, yeah, Spider-Man 50. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking that I always got X-Men. Yeah. Mind. Dude, so what that's I, a really good book to get. And I think he put in high grade, it's $80, right? Yeah. He put 80 Yeah. Which yeah. It looks like it's, obviously, it's a brand new book. That's a good book to have. Yeah. I think that's a very, I, we bought like three of just cover A, three or four of cover A alone, so. I wonder if Kingpin's in that story, too. Might be. cool. Yeah. I have not, I haven't, I haven't got a chance to read through mine yet, but that's cool. That's a good book to spec on. That, that could have a lot of potential. Oh. Oh, there you go. That's, so, there you go. That's a good hit. Yeah, this is really good. So, you got Spider Gwen, um, number, it's number one, right? Uh, no, it should be 24. Spider Gwen 24. Is it Zach would know? 24 I know. or 34. Yeah, this is cool. So, you got a range, 100 to $120 on eBay first print. And this is the first time you have, um, Gwen, no, uh, Venomized Gwen, Gwenum, right? Gwenum. Yeah. Gwen, oh, it is Gwenum. <laughs> it's like adding Venom to Gwenum. That's pretty dope. That's really, really cool. And he's got the special sticker on there, so hundred dollar value. I could say that's pretty accurate. Pretty yeah, pretty accurate on the it's price on that. Up. Yeah, it's going and up it's going time. out. I think Princess has a, the second print graded, right? Or first print, first print, second print, something like that. Second like nine four nine six. Yeah, we got one once before, and it, she took it right away. So yeah. I'm assuming she's gonna take this one right away as well. But yeah, you're keeping it. But very good. That was a solid box for $120. I mean, just those last two books alone were way, way above. That was the fourth best box, Hector. That was a great box. It's a very solid yeah, box. Yeah, dude, that puts a smile on my face. All right, guys, that's going to wrap the show up. 
Um, keep sending us in your flexing. We got, we're building up a little bit of pile of flexing. We'd like to share that with you guys next Monday. We just kind of didn't want to like, take up too much of your time with all the games. But as usual, guys, if you like the show, love the show, hit that like button. Hit the, <laughs> hit the, oh man, my brain just fried uh, yeah, there. Yeah. Hit the like button. Oh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Comment do all the below. awesome thing. Do the comments down below. Let us know what you think about the haul this weekend. Let us know what you think about uh, Cosmic Comics' new mystery box. Like I said, there obviously he's going to take some time and even try and one up it uh, on the next one in June. So stay tuned for that. Anything else, Zach? Oh, yeah, sure. How you do that is you have the crop lit drain. It rains a little bit and it washes the spider out. That's be how you become itsy bitsy. Watch That's out. Nice. Can you do the little thing? Itsy bitsy spider like, web and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, no, no, you're not here for that. All right, guys. Get those itsy bitsy. Until we see you next time, stay safe. Remember, get those itsy bitsy games. Get <laughs> Every single one. <laughs>